Oh, Rory, 41. <laughs> no, this is 40. <laughs> She's a bridesmaid. They took the lights, Nigeria. Just be disgracing yourself. Called my gate man to turn on the gym and he's telling me that he's cutting his hair. Like, make it make sense. And I don't know how to own gen. I don't even want to know how to own gen. <sighs> Find girl like me. When I put it on and I'm like Good morning guys. Um my hair is looking crazy. Um Welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> My hair is going crazy because I wore a frontal yesterday and I have glue in the front which I take out. Um, I meant to relax my hair in a couple of days, so I don't know. But I also have to wear a wig again. I really don't like wigs, so I find them very stressed. But that's the honest truth, especially those front house. I don't know how people do it. Like, what's all this? This is what you have to do with every single time you take out your front top. <sighs> um, so yeah, I am. Um, my friend is getting married next week. I'm so excited. Um, I'm part of the train. The trial is this week, which I meant I was meant to go for, but life happened. So um, I would be, I would only be going for the white, which is next weekend, and I'm going to worry right after that to spend christmas with my family then she has a bridal shower too next week so i'll take you guys along for that for the bridal shower for the wedding yeah um wait they just do that i don't usually drink cold water i like my water at room temperature but I'm really hot, so I thought that would help. Um, uh, let me let me pity you guys. This is really going to affect the sound because <laughs> I even hear it. So I can only imagine what you guys are hearing. Um, anything for content? So yeah, welcome back to the channel. Um, as a vlog guys i'm excited for this vlog because um well, this is my last vlog for the year and um there's a couple of things happening that's yeah because i've just been in my house so actually having activities coming up is making me a bit excited i'm not gonna lie so i've lost a lot of weight um someone actually sent me a message that's so sweet of you like oh am i okay that i noticed i lost weight yeah i'm okay thank you so much um but to be very honest with you this is actually my natural body type though like if you've known me since like when i was like in like uni this is my body like so the body you actually like is the body that goes to the gym is the body that is like a thief <laughs> and i say like a thief because the money i spend on food in a month is actually it's not ridiculous i mean depending on your pockets but yeah for the average nigerian it's ridiculous because i kid you not i spend like I'm even ashamed to say it. Maintain like a good amount of like weight on my body it means I have to lift heavy, and I have to eat a lot. Yeah. So bodybuilder always like, oh, why are you, why are you going to the gym? Your body is perfect. <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> um, but I have to take out this glue from my hair at some point too, so I can like just pack my hair until i'm ready to do something to it so yeah let me eat now i haven't had much of an appetite because i've been fasting you know when you've been fasting for like a minute it takes a while for your appetite to like build up back to what it used to be and i'm here trying to perform magic 
I'm going to the gym. I'm going to I'm going to work out three times this week because today's already Thursday. So I'll do Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'll rest on Sunday. Then I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The bridal shower is on Wednesday. So the the measurement I gave the tailor. <laughs> My hips. Oh, oh, glory, 41. <laughs> no, it's still 40. Well, 40. It's still 40. <laughs> I thought it moved to 41. So, I was in my thick era when I went to take my measurements for this wedding. I was in my thick era. My hips were saying 44. But now, see 44. Now they are saying 40, and this is me trying to eat like a thief and work out like my life depends on it in the space of six days to see if we can actually get to maybe 42 even I don't know the magic I want to perform but let's see it just reminds me of when I go to meet my trainer and tell him that uh, my trainer's name is Frank Frank, I have, I, I have to go to, I'm, I'm going somewhere this weekend and I need my hips to be 42 by the weekend Frank will look at me like is it magic? Is it magic? So yes, yeah, so this is, I would actually show you guys. I will take another measurement on Wednesday to see if anything happened. Oh yeah, let me finish my breakfast and I will see you guys when I am getting ready for the gym. Okay guys, so I haven't finished breakfast. Am I the only one that it's I can't be the only one that it's like this? Like you eat your food in bits. It's just my brother is the same way, so no. Is it a family thing? <laughs> Not really looking for people to support my cause. <laughs> so um since I'm going to the salon, I figured I would just um, tell the my um hairstylist to help me take out the groom and help me um Put my hair in a cornrow until I'm ready to relax it next week. Yeah, I was going to take out the blue myself, but it just makes sense doing the salon. So now I'm just going to get ready for the gym. off to be washed and take this out and corner my hair then head into the gym straight afterwards Security man at the gym asked me that, ah, Auntie, what's happened? You wear a face cap, come the gym. Hope so you don't forget him. 
I said, my brother, I don't forget I'm eating my back. <laughs> I just tired. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Let me get myself together. Um, take a shower. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. This thing on my hair. It's like a mixture of um, virgin, um, Indian hem, wild growth. Um, what else? Do do grow. So I'm applying it to my edges right now because hmm, I'm afraid for my edges. After the after all the blow drying, the way the, the man was blow drying my hair, I was scared. I was scared for my hair. I was scared for my hair because I didn't apply what's it called heat protectant. I, I wasn't expecting it to blow dry my hair. And now I'm applying this because, I mean, you use them, what's it called? Um, dissolver to remove the gum from my hair. So I just feel like my edges have been through a lot. So I'm trying to just manage what I have left. <laughs> Savage what I have left. But yeah, this mixture is really good for hair growth, guys. I know some of you are probably wondering why are you doing so much is your hair not relaxed but this is the first time in my life that i've relaxed my hair and it's thriving and i feel like that's because i'm taking care of it and i'm being very intentional so i still basically treat it as if it's natural like i i, I see what i did there i still basically treat it like it's still um not texturized so yeah so i still do all of that and yeah my hair has been thanking me for that there's no light to Roma, we're in Nigeria. <laughs> what did you say? Did you just talk about Gabby? Ciao. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Roman is in his independent era. Sorry, I just woke up. My voice is crusty. Roman is in his independent era where he loves to do things by himself. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I mean, he doesn't get it right all the time, but <laughs> it's the effort that counts. <laughs> okay, let me help you, baby. Hey, so, guys. Roman, like I said, is in his do-it-yourself era. He doesn't like me to do things for him, which I mean, it's very cute. It shows that he's growing up. Okay, let me help you. I just helped him close his toothbrush with the case, and he literally removed it, and he's trying to figure it out by himself. Wait, let me show you. No, hold it. Hold it. Mhm. Mm good. Okay, close it. Yay! <laughs> he's so happy. <laughs> So let's see. <laughs> Sorry, that's too very good. Cinnamon powder. Okay, let us see. Finish frying my yam. Um, it's a bit burnt. I know, I know. I don't want to hear anything about it. <laughs> then um, I made fish sauce, which I am waiting for the water to dry up. You can see there's still like water inside, so I'm waiting for that to dry up. Then yeah, this is breakfast.
it for breakfast, guys. You guys, Roman spilled water, and in my mind, I'm going to get like a mop when I'm done eating. And this boy actually went to get a mop without me telling him to. Like, can you just imagine that? Guys, this boy is defeating me, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, get down. Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> sorry. Hi, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay, guys. I was going to talk to you guys, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen with Robert here. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to come Oh, child. We're going to come back to this. I say, hey, vlog. Say, hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Good morning, guys. It's currently Sunday. And say, good morning. We're going to church right now. Um, as you can see, we're in church fits. Um, you need a haircut, baby. Um, but this is the last time I'm going to talk to you guys until the day of the bridal shower. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to vlog tomorrow. Let's see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly check in, pop into the vlog, and let you know what's going on. Is um, okay. Um, after church, I'm going to drop him off okay. with his dad for a couple of days because this week is going to be crazy for me. Um, my friend is getting okay. married and okay. I'm part of the Queen. bridal like Queen. shower and all of that. So, yes, the week is going to be crazy for me. So, I'm going to drop him with his dad Let's for a couple of days. Um, hello. Hello. I'm going to drop him with him for a couple of days. Hello. Okay. Okay. And I will pick him up. Um, the wedding is on Saturday. I will pick. And I will pick him up. I will pick him up after the wedding, and we will be heading to. We will be heading to. Worry for Christmas. I'm very excited for that. I actually love going back home. I love meeting my brother, his wife, my nephews, my mom. I love like. Worry is home for me, so yeah, I'm excited to go home for Christmas for a couple of days and we're gonna go together. My mom hasn't seen him since January, yeah, so I'm sure she's going to be so actually, no, since December, December last year, she hasn't seen him this year, so yeah, she's always excited because this is like the one grandson she only sees once in a while because we live in Lagos, so yeah, um, talk to you guys later. Hey guys. Um, it's still Sunday. I am back from church and I've dropped Roman off at his dad. So I'm going to spa at Ebano because I want to I want to get a couple of things from spa um, that I want to use to cook. I'm craving a Philly cheesesteak for some weird reason and a burger. <laughs> so I'm going to get um, stuff for that and I'm going to Ebano to get thick on nails for my see guys i've accepted the fact that i have really soft nails so i don't fix anymore if you have any recommendations please let me know if you can relate with the kind of nails that i have i've tried stick on, i've tried um is it stick on or press on like the ones you go to the salon and they don't use like acrylic i've tried those ones i've tried acrylic my nails still get weaker with time so i've just given up i just said that whenever i have an event to go for i would get those like ones from the supermarket and just use on my nails and take it up after a couple of days or the same day even but if you know that you have the kind of nails that i have and you can release please let me know what you do because i really want to know uh, so yeah let's go to spa and ebano
just left spa. I'm using my phone camera. I hope it's not that bad. I hope it's not so bad. Um, I'm heading to NY supermarket because I really like their bread. They have this really nice bread that looks like it will be good for fish cheesesteak. So I'm going there now to get it. Um, yeah, see you guys when I get there. So guys, we have two different ones. Well, this one is a bit hard. So I'm going to go for this one because I like soft things. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get one for burgers too. Um, okay guys, I just got home. I'm trying to... Well, I didn't just get home. <laughs> Hold on guys. The lights in my room is really dim, so whenever I want to um, record, I always have to turn on my ring light. So um, I got home. I'm sorry, I didn't film the process of me making the Philly cheesesteak. But I'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks bomb and it smells delicious. So this is it. Um, because the bread is small, I made like three mini ones. Although I feel like this is gluten at this point, but. Let's see how much I can eat. Oh my god. This is so good. I'm glad I made three. This is so good. Oh my god. Hmm. You know when you satisfy your craving. Oh, Jesus Christ. Life hmm. can tell me nothing anyway. Let me enjoy my food in peace. I want to just eat, take a shower, and sleep. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, hmm. guys. It's Monday. Um, I am um, I just left the gym. I didn't record at the gym, I did upper body today. Um, I'm still going to do upper body again on Friday. So I'll record for that. But I mean, this is a vlog, so I didn't want to really go in depth into like what I'm doing at the gym. Um, so yeah, right now I am looking for a pomade, Dax pomade that I, I use for my hair when I relax it. Because I want to relax it this week. Because my friend's wedding is this week, and I'm going to do a ponytail, so I have to relax my hair so it can like slick back. So um, and I relax my hair myself. So there's this pomade I use to protect the already relaxed parts so i only focus on the undergrowth i'm going to make a video for that so you guys will see what i'm talking about but i've been driving around looking for this pomade and i can't find it and i don't want to go to ebon i went there yesterday and i feel like it's going to be more pricey there but if i don't find it i'll have to end up at ebano again but yeah um after i get this if i see the pomade around where i stay i'll get it then i'm going to the bridal shop to go fit my dress for the for the wedding so yeah let me um just look for this pomade i'll talk to you guys later guys i just got here and something crazy is happening to me because i've been to the tailor before to take my measurements and i thought i went to lucky like even when my friend sent the address on the group chat i was even saying oh it's not onero it's lucky just for me to put it on my map today and it's onero and i called the lady that did you guys move she said no we've always been onero so you see that i'm having short-term memory of what's going on like even as i'm here i don't remember coming here and i've been here because i took my measurements bruh i don't know what happens to me <laughs> anyway i just go here i'm going into i'm going in right now see you guys in a bit Ooh, cute. Ooh. Guys, you can see all my hips are gone. 
this is how thick I was when I took this measurement. When they took my measurements and see, everything is gone. It's crazy. Yes. She's a bridesmaid. <laughs> it was cute though. I didn't think the purple would be this purple, but it looks good. It looks like a bridesmaid's gown. Hello. Sorry, I lost with I've been fasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hips um, and the waist too. I think it's not tight. I can, I can breathe. Yeah. Snatch. Okay, guys, this is the final result. Let's start with this. Honestly, to be honest, I wish the waist was a little bit tighter, but she said because of the fabric, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not seeing dimension. Maybe it's me, maybe I've lost all my curves. So I want to do, I want to make a burger later today. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I got my dress. I'm still trying to add weight to before s s Saturday. So I don't know, I hope I don't shoot myself in the foot. But anyways, um, my roommate's Housemate is well, she's not a tailor, that's her side hustle because she has a nine to five. Um, so I mean, Alex to the rescue. If you watch this, thanks, Alex. <laughs> that's if you need to amend me for any reason. Um, so I mean, let's talk at the gym today. I can't find my red resistance band, like it's almost still. I saw people we'll be staying in the gym, look you. Because my tripod has gotten stolen at the gym. What else? I'm sure I've misplaced something else at the gym before. Not misplaced, they stole it. Yeah. I just realized today because I, I like I did upper body and I couldn't find it. So I have suitcases here because like I said I'm traveling. So I just have like, like, I'm not scattered, but <laughs> I just like things in place, so I'm like visualizing it. So, um, yeah, I can't, and I literally just bought that thing. SMH. So good, God will provide. I do not even want to be angry. I wanted to get a smaller size, but it didn't have a smaller size. And to be honest, I mean, it just made no sense because 
I use it every time I relax my hair, which is really four times in a year, sometimes three, depending on the hairstyle I'm doing. And if I can stretch out my relaxer day. I'm, I'm usually on protective style I'm doing it, so sometimes I really don't need to relax my hair. So yeah. Um so let me take a shower and um make breakfast and this is probably it for today. Yeah. Uh, the next time I'll see you guys is on Wednesday for the bridal shower. I don't know I'm excited as if I'm even getting married. I think I'm just excited to be doing something finally because I've been indoors for so long. So yeah, this is refreshing. Hey guys, um, it's currently the day of the bridal shower, today's Wednesday, um, but I have to quickly go and check out a property for a client. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I've mentioned this before on this channel, but I do real estate. So um, yeah, I'm quickly, I don't even know who gave me these hats, I feel like I'm all over the place. The, place, the client I'm meant to meet up with is already waiting for me, so I am in a rush. Um, this is a dress I'm wearing for the bridal shower. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm really in a rush. Um, I just decided to wear this hat because for me to wear this wig on its own, I have to lay it. Like, I have to apply, like, bond. And I don't have time for all that. I'm in a rush. So I decided to wear a hat to just cover that up. Um, but yeah, this is a fit. I don't know. I feel like I'm. it's giving Christmas vibes because I'm wearing green and white. And my slippers are also white. I don't know but i just wanted to like quickly like just throw something on so yeah i'll talk to you guys later Whew, i am out of breath okay guys um i just finished filming a um get ready with me um makeup routine i just finished they took the lights nigeria just be disgracing yourself called my gate man to turn on the gym and he's telling me that he's cutting his hair like make it make sense and I don't know how to own Jen. I don't even want to know how to own Jen. <sighs> Fine girl like me. <sighs> Jesus. Um, so I just <laughs> I just finished getting ready. Um, the bridal shower is for three. It's currently past four. Um, but I don't think I mean it's Nigeria. Plus, I don't think anybody's there because I they'll probably be saying something in the group chat. So yeah, it's an all-wise um bridal party. So yeah, this is the dress. I'm glad I had this dress. Um, I, I actually had this dress before I gave birth. Fun fact, I've never worn it. Um, just to even prove to you guys, I just took off the tag. It's from House of TV. So, like, when I put it on, and I'm like, what? Ah, she still got it. Like the fact that I bought this dress four years ago, and it fits like a glove. It's. You already know how I'm feeling. <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm ready now. This is the fit. Um, yeah, I just um, I just want to put on my jewelry, um, spray some perfume, and yeah, hit the road. There's no light, so I don't start sweating. So yeah. Okay, guys, I just got here. Um, I think I'm actually late. Cause I see pussy dead already. So let me get down. Step 
Okay. Yay. Voila. I'm back home. Um, <laughs> the bride gave me a kiss on my cheek, which, <laughs> but I just I didn't even bother like clean it because I felt like I was just going to mess like my makeup, so I just left it there. It's part of the aesthetics. Um, so yeah, let me quickly show you guys. Um, there's still no lights in my house. Like, like anyway, if you live in Lagos right now, you know that there's something going on. I think like the national grid collapse, something like that. Ciao. But anyways, let me show you the care package she gave us. Ah, she's such a cute bride. Such a cute bride. Um, so there's two boxes because um, one of our friends, mutual friends, who is also a bridesmaid, is coming in from um, worry tomorrow. So I just, and she's going to be staying with me actually. So I just picked a package up for her. So she'll just get it when she gets here. So yeah, she gave us this channel um, care package. So cute. Expensive bride. Then we have this um, 
i think i unboxed it earlier so it's i'm gonna show you guys when i'm editing but yeah so this and um, yeah this is for the other bridesmaid so yeah um it was a really painted this i don't know i'm going to find somewhere to hang this in my room it's actually good um pack some food in case i get hungry later <laughs> you know me you you know me and food but yeah that's it for today um i'll see you guys tomorrow when i'm going to make my hair then finally on Sat on friday when i'm wrapping up this vlog i feel like this is the longest vlog i've ever done i've never vlogged for one entire week straight <sighs> yeah this is very interesting so yeah see you guys tomorrow so today is relax a day guys and on the screen i have what i do a week prior to relax a day so here i'm just taking on my hair basically and after doing that um i'm showing you what i have in my relaxer pack it comes with three different packets one is a style and mousse which you apply on your hair after washing it and the other one is a replenishing pack so i'm going to be using that for my hair because it tends to add moisture and um it just helps condition your hair afterwards so next thing i'm going to be parting my hair in four different sections so it just makes it easier for me to navigate through my hair So after parting my hair in four different sections, I then start from the back. Um, honestly, you're going to need someone to help you with this because after um, sectioning my hair and applying the dax pomade to protect my already relaxed end so I don't um, put relaxer on it by accident, I had to meet someone to help me um, put relaxer on the back. So if you have someone around you, that would be really helpful. So... Um, on a normal day, like I said, if I have time, I tend to part my hair in smaller sections. But today I was in a rush. So I was really just like winging it. So what I'm doing is applying um, the Dax pomade to the already relaxed end. Because you don't want to relax or rela already relaxed hair. So this is just basically helping like protect that area. So even when the relaxer does get on it, because... Um, during the process of applying the relaxer on your hair or maybe washing it, you find relaxer getting on those ends. So this helps to protect your ends too. Um, so basically, I'm going to tag the lady that I learned all of this from. She's like the OG. So um, I'm just doing this because I get questions from like a couple of people. So I just thought to do like a mini tutorial on my channel. But I'm going to tag her in the description. Um she's like her relaxed hair is like amazing so everything i know i learned from her so basically i'm just doing the same thing and repeating it all over my hair i'm applying the dark pomade to the already relaxed end because when you don't do that then you start to get like text lax hair and yeah nobody wants that So yeah, this is basically what you want to do like all over your hair. And if you have time, please do it in smaller sections. <laughs> so I'll show you guys once I'm done with the entire thing. So at this point, I was done um, twisting my hair and applying the dark pomade. And yeah, the girl was relieved. <laughs> 
so next thing you're going to um, apply the dark pomade around your um, edges to protect your ends So here I'm applying the activator to the relaxer. I'm using everything really because I don't I'm, I don't intend on using the relaxer again after today. But if you know that you, you tend to use your relaxer twice, you want to take out the bits you're using in a different container because you don't want to like double dip. So next thing, I'm basically just... I'm basically applying the relaxer to the new growth. So what I do is I apply it like underneath and above the twist. And after doing this, you want to go again because I don't comb my hair when relaxing it. I just um, apply the relaxer on top of it and underneath and just smooth it out as much as possible. And that tends to do the job for me. So once you're done, um, I, I usually leave my relaxer on for about 20 to 25 minutes and I wash it out with a um, neutralizing shampoo. You want to make sure you have a neutralizing shampoo and um, a conditioner. So after using my neutralizing shampoo, I then go in with the conditioner and leave that on for about 40 minutes to an hour if I have time. But on this particular day, I did 30 minutes because I was in a rush. So yeah, that was that's pretty much it. But like I said, I will tag the girl that I usually um I follow her routine for my relaxer day and yeah, she's very she really goes into details into what she does. So yeah, I'm gonna do that for you guys. So yeah, that's it for relaxer day. If I didn't have to do this ponytail today, to be honest, I probably could have done it without even like relaxing it. But I just really wanted it to be like sleek. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to say I would have skipped it, but. It's done, it's done. Um, definitely not relaxing my hair again anytime soon. Next time I'm relaxing is on my birthday or before my birthday. That's like next to me. Yeah. Cause I just stretched out my relaxer for four months. And even at four months it didn't feel like it needed to be relaxed. So I guess I don't have like really thick hair. Plus I'm always on braids, so is there really any point in relaxing the hair? It's always in protective styles. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do anything to my hair because I'm literally heading to the salon now. So I'm just comb it.
but by the way this is a huge no no like putting your hair in a tight hairstyle just after relaxing it ideally when i relax my hair i leave it alone for a week a whole week sometimes even two weeks um, i'll probably just like cornrow it very loosely and leave it for two weeks before i like do anything to my hair but this is yeah very little breakish this is spe this is special circumstances so Okay, I'm ready guys. Um ready to tell now I have to pick up um a fellow bridesmaid. So yeah, um I have my gym back here because I feel like I'm going to go to the gym and get a quick workout done once I'm done with my hair done. So yeah, because if I don't go that means I've only gone twice this week and that's not good. So yeah, at least three times minimum. So yeah, see you guys when I get to salon. Could you hold it? Thank you. Thank you so much. Bridesmaids. Hi. Say hi. Yes. Who made your dress? It's so nice. Okay, guys. Um, it's really rowdy here. I wanted to come talk to you guys quickly. Um, I just got to the hotel. Um, a makeup artist is involved. The makeup artist that is doing my makeup and like three other girls is really noisy. It's running late, so the lighting is shit. But I just wanted to talk to you guys quickly. Yeah, the makeup artist is running late, but she's on her way. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys after I'm done with my makeup or when I'm doing it.
You should do what? You can't come in. If we make you. We can hear you. Is that your wife? He said no. Is that your wife? Seductress. <laughs> Give it to the bride. Uh -huh.
remember, the parents must appear and he must appear in the picture. Alright, one. Alright. 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 Perfect. So you return this. Uh, return the items. And Ross, you don't come on sense. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I want to explain to you. 